Hey there, today we're going to have a look at the clone command when you're using Minecraft Education. Alright, there's kind of like different ways you can do this and also around really big structures, cloning really big structures. I'm actually keeping it really small for this one. Um, we're just going to kind of clone one block, um, but more so we're going to clone an item, so mixing it up a bit but you can do quite big spaces and it does use just the forward slash clone this is our command for it and then you know you need to know the beginning and the ending of the all this like the starting point and the ending point of the source region that to clone and then you need to know the destination so the coordinate um, and it's normally the lowest value of that coordinate of that destination and where you want to put that. Now that only becomes important, that lowest value and where you're positioning it when you're using really big, much larger structures. This is really, sim this is really, really similar to the video we've already done a while ago on tests for blocks. Watch that one as well. That will kind of help to explain that whole parameters. But for this one, we're actually going to show how to clone an item. Now, what's left in making up that command is whether you want to replace, and these here are kind of um, optional, um, is whether you want to do replace, mask, normal, force, or whether you want to move it. So you can actually take it and completely move it from one position to another. And those last two are completely optional, whether or not you want to use them. Now, if you follow along with these videos, you will know that they are part of an educational training package. But if you're just also watching it because you want to know how clone works, here is how we explain it is always through a little scenario. And we're actually going to build on from a previous video on this one where we used enchant, but we're going to build on it. So what we did in one of our last videos is that we set this uh, specific command or this in a way, I kind of explain them as algorithms, as in if I put a diamond in the chest, then enchant the uh, crossbow that I'm holding. Okay, so you can definitely go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it before. But what I want to do is I want to improve that because if you're really kind of into building your own games, you want to make sure things are kind of the way they should be. And what the problem was with my last one was that you could put the diamond in the chest and get the crossbow, bro, oh my gosh, the cross bow enchanted but you could then just get the diamond back out because it didn't go anywhere and so that's where i'm going to use clone okay so what i'm going to do is that when i put this diamond in this chest it's not only just going to enchant the crossbow it's also going to replace that chest with an empty one so it's going to basically get rid of the diamond okay because i'm sacrificing the diamond to get the enchantment so how do i do that what i'd have to do is i have to set up somewhere for it to look for and so here it is it's just an empty chest plain old empty chest and i need to know these coordinates basically of this chest that i'm standing on right now now so so <clears throat> so to do that sometimes I always find this, so it's so much easier to put it kind of directly underneath because it just makes the numbers significantly easier. So if I just go back up, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of this chest. I'm going to knock a hole here. And so you'll see that that, there it is, directly underneath. And so even if I place this here, this coordinate here that I'm standing on right now is that last coordinate. That's my destination coordinate that I want it to go in. And so remember, if you're using bigger areas, that is then your lowest coordinate. So keeping in mind with how you want it to load into the world. So that then means that if I drop down directly below it, and let's go down, there we go, is that this coordinate, and I know I'm standing on the box, but when you stand on a chest, it actually is the same. See how that coordinate didn't change? So if I just put it back, when you stand on it, it actually tells you where the box is, um, which is what we're looking at is those coordinates up in the top left-hand corner. So when I destroy that, it doesn't change. So those are correct. So let's start putting this in. So this here 
is our end and start position. And then this one up here is our destination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down another command block. We're going to open this up and we're going to go forward slash clone. And then I'm going to go start with the one downstairs. So the, the position of the one downstairs is five, two, three, two, eight, two, seven, seven. Um, and because I'm only doing the one, I just, it's the end and the start of the beginning. Okay. So, but if it's a larger area, I just go to that coordinate uh, that it ends at. And I go five, two, three, so it's exactly the same, two, eight, two, seven, seven. Okay, and then I need to know where is the destination. This is the destination. This is the space I want to change. So I need this coordinate. So I'm gonna take that one, and that one is five, two, three, 32, 277. There we go. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna replace it and uh, it's just, just a normal replace. Um, you can't, there we go, open that up a bit wider. So there's my command, quite, it's quite a long one, this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down, whoops, not throw it, I'm gonna put down a repeater. And the reason I wanna use a repeater is because I want this to delay, because otherwise it goes too quick. And so I want a bit of a delay. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, that's gonna give me a four tick delay. So it gives enough time for this command to activate and the for it to pick up the diamond, basically. So here we go. So I make sure I'm holding the crossbow. I'm going to open up the chest. I'm gonna place the diamond and then I close it so that my crossbow works. So that's all good. Just like in our previous video, I can do that and get my fireworks. But this time, the diamond's gone, okay? Because it's been cloned, because placing it in activated it. So when I placed my diamond in, it activated this sequence here, and then it's triggered this one here, and it's cloned one block, which is this chest here just got cloned. And because that chest is empty, basically it replaced the chest with the diamond in it with a empty chest. So it makes it appear as if the diamond has kind of been taken or consumed or traded in one way. So a tricky one clone, um, definitely play around with it. Sometimes you'll get the numbers around the wrong way. That's okay. Just normally switch them and that fixes it, but keep persisting with it. Come back, rewatch this if you need to follow it step by step. But apart from that, if you need any other help, Make sure you look into your guides on your OneNote, but we will see you again soon. Cheers.